I'm Michael Paternostro, and I play Gregory Gardner on the show. I have to practice. My teacher is going to kill me. My cousin Lisa used to play, and I'd always go over her, over her house, and I think she played um, the entertainer first. And I just was like, show me what you're doing. So she would just show me what her fingers would do, and I would play. And then one day, my uncle, um, my Paran, my, my uncle, my dad's youngest brother, he walked in the room thinking that it was Lisa playing the piano. And there I am playing the piano, and he's like, what? I didn't even know you played. And then he brought my parents, and he's like, this boy needs little, some lessons. And, that's kind of how it happened. Because I would play the piano for the chorus in high school, and, uh, and then I started singing with the high school chorus, and that was great. Then I became a you know, section leader, and then all state chorus, and then the musicals came, because I knew how to play. And I played for musicals at this all-girls high school. I never got off the piano. I mean, they would, I was the person who was like, Michael, it's three in the morning, get off the piano. I really, I was, played it all the time, all night, all day. Finally, junior year, we decided to kind of infiltrate the drama department and put on a musical. And it was kind of like the chorus putting it on. Pippin is what, the one we did. It was really cool. And we produced and put on this hit show. We actually bought the, the school a lighting board because we raised so much money. We had standing room only. And no one really knew I could dance. And I didn't really know I could dance like that. And that kind of started it. And I went, oh my god, I can do this too. And then that just took off. And Broadway was big big for me. The, the shows were everything because it was music and it was singing and it was, I could play some, I could jump on stage. I mean, it just was everything I loved. So I'm in Baton Rouge, I'm, I'm out of high school and I'm in college at LSU, really not knowing what I want to do. Didn't have a way to get to New York, didn't know what I was going to do with all this stuff. And they were doing a course line at the Baton Rouge Little Theater, a community theater. And the director was Bobby Longbottom. I mean, I remember walking to this audition, never really having danced like that. And uh, he pulled me out and, and was like, you really need to learn this because you really can kind of do this. And um, we did the show and it was wildly successful for the Baton Rouge Little Theater. And he took about seven of us and said, you guys really know the show well. The show is just like the national company. I mean, whatever, I mean, we think we're all big, but it, it was really good, it was a really good company. It was big in my life, it, it moved my life. It moved my life forward. It, it really helped all this to happen for me. And I played the same role, Gregory Gardner, and uh, at 19, craziness. And then I ended up going to, up to New York. So I went to Broadway Dance Center and I scholarship danced. I was a scholarship student there and I mean, I closed the place up, emptied the ash crans, and I could even play the piano for classes when the, you know, they lost their pianist, which I did a couple of times. And it was great, it was a great place for me. And I met Chris Chadman, who was a Fosse dance captain and uh, coming up with his choreography actually. And I took his class religiously and I certainly, I mean, he taught me really how to be a Broadway dancer, how to really take control and, and how to audition. I mean, it was really hard work, but it was so good and so, I mean, everywhere you looked, I mean, you could be in the middle of doing something and you look anywhere and there's someone doing something amazing next to you and amazing over there. And while you're waiting to do something amazing, someone, it's just a great place to be. It's, it's in, constantly inspiring. I guess you, you do all this movement up and movement forward and, oh, I learned how to sing, I learned how to dance, I learned how to play the piano, I learned how to tumble, I learned how to be in a musical, I learned how to act, and you just want to keep going on and then you kind of hit that plateau and they go, okay, great, you got the skills, now this is what you do. And it's like a, you want to keep pushing that thing up, but there's really kind of a ceiling there or just for what you do in the group that you're in, this is what you do. And I think that that's a moment for a lot of people in, in musical theater, especially I think in that company of those really great uh, singer-dancer people that I was talking about. Um, and, and a lot of them have moved into choreography, into acting, into featured, and, and we continue to do that and, and grow and find our place. Uh, that's, that's the moment though. It's the moment of trying to find out where, in what quite pocket you're going to continue to grow in. I was doing Dirty Rotten Scoundrels at the time, and, and they're like, oh, Coruscant's coming in, Coruscant, and then we'd all be backstage waiting to go on for our dance number and just doing some of the choreography, because I remembered it. Coming in and, and being who I am and having done now the, show, the Broadway shows and have the friends in the community and know what it's like to be at that audition for a Broadway show for the time, 
I really could be Gregory in a different way. I wasn't imagining him. I was kind of going here, not going here to find him. But no, at that audition, I just I said, this one's, this one's mine to lose. You know, I can, I can either show up fully and, and get this, or I can screw it up and, and not get this. You know, Greg's just, oh, he's such a liar. You know, he's just, it's such bullshit, you know. If you knew the real story of Greg compared to what this East Side did of, it's such a lie. It's all a lie. You know, we do that at auditions. We try to be so many things and whatever they want, we try to be exactly that, so. I don't know, there's a lot. There's a lot I know about doing that. I really think it was fate. I, I don't know, I just was, I, this is my fate. I'm, I'm here, I'm supposed to be here. I was reluctant to even come to be here, but I'm here and it's changing my life again, you know, it's amazing. Mm -hmm.